So, finally, after spending 15 minutes that I'm probably cutting out, walking back to the ship because I tried to do a side quest that ended up giving me booty butt cheeks for a reward, it's finally time to make our way out of here because, gosh, that was the most painful and arduous 15 minutes of my life in this game. Okay, dude, take us out of here. This place is about to blow, and I'm not about to be a part of it. Let's get out of here. Stubborn mortals. So desperate to cling to your pathetic lives. Even when there is no hope for you! Don't you ever give up! Never. But hear this, Zanza. They will judge me not in life, but death. Our world. You must succeed, Lady Maynard. It's Telethia! Uh. You're not getting away! Dixon! Listen, it's over. Time for you all to return to the Bionis. Nice and quietly. That's enough! Why, Dixon? What made you like this? Shulk looked up to you, respected you! Dixon! Don't let Zanza control you! Wake up! You can quit your belly aching. I'm in total control. I've always been like this. Ever since long before any of you lot were born. Before we were born? Now you get it. It's just like Eggle said. I'm Lord Zanza's disciple, Dixon of the Trinity! Well, this is, uh, awkward, but we'll fight, and we'll destroy you. Kill shot, as in I'll make the kill. Sorry, persona references is uh, your forte. Uh oh, this is a bad uh, predicament. The soul read is active, and we can't do anything about that. Right, snap out of it. Yeah. Okay, stop 
Je... <laughs> you waste of space. Not so tough without Shulk, eh? Stupid beast. You should be grateful. Not everyone has a war buddy like me to lead them along. Tasted good, didn't they? The victory drinks we used to share. I'll kill you! What? <sighs> Who was that? Show yourself! Melia, are you all right? Brother! Kalyan! Dixon! He works for the Bionis! He shot Shulk in the back! Is this true? Dixon? This ends here. Your Telethia are no match for our Havrez squadron. You cannot win! Maybe you should be concentrating on your own people instead of barking at me. <gasps> Looks like you've forgotten your destiny. Right, Lorathea? Lorathea? Are you involved in this as well? Your Highness, your naivety is quite charming, but it is also your undoing. <laughs> I had much fun playing with you and your father. What? What is this light? Ether particles emitted so that the Bionis can be destroyed and reborn. <laughs> what do you get if you cross high concentrations of ether with high entia? N no, you wouldn't, Lorathea. Awaken, my darling pets. Understand, child. This is the reason why High and Tear are born. Do not blame poor old me. Explain yourself! It's just like she says. The High and are a race created by Lord Zanza to eliminate any annoying life forms in the preparation for the rebirth of the Bionis. Their bodies contain a gene that, when the time comes, transforms them into Telethia. <laughs> It can't be. Say it isn't so. Melia, it is true. That is why you are our only hope. Brother? Whatever. We won't be needing a half-breed like you anyway. I mean, if you don't turn into a Telethia, it just means you're gonna get crushed by one. That's the only thing you're good for. <gasps> Rise up, pets. Do my bidding. Kill your lovely sister. of our people. The burden meant for you brings a tear to my eye. These moments are to be treasured. <gasps> How? Melia! 
father's wish and the future of the High Entia are in your hands. Yours and Shulk's. <gasps> Telethia, destroy him! Dixon! I got it. Too late! Damn him! So I'm... <laughs> what was I doing? What was the purpose of my life? it wrong. I was never alive. It was Zanza. All along. I... Everything I did was... Do you want to say pointless? <gasps> that voice. Nobody else can decide that. Only you. you a wonderful new weapon. Since you lost your Monado, I mean. It uses the latest Machina technology. Use it when you wake up. Then, let's all go on living. We've relocated the Hyentia and the Nopon refugees to Colony 6. Thankfully, the Mekon did us a favor by fortifying it for us. It should hold out for a while. It's ironic. We want to escape Zanza, but we can't leave his body, the Bionis. Well, this is our home. Princess, I have to know. Should we be worried about the evacuated Hyentia? I cannot be sure, but I believe not. All those who survived are part homes like me. Understood. If they ever do transform, I will be among them. If that time comes, you know what to do. Are you sure? Everyone is obliged to accept their fate. No way! There's no way Callion would leave the fate of the Hyentia to you if that was gonna happen. Precisely. And Melia, if we are to survive, we must fight Zanza and the Telethia. It may not be the case with all of them, but a large number of Telethia were once high in tier. Your subjects and your brethren. I am prepared for that. Even if it means harming my brethren, it is for the protection of the survivors. 
That is the final wish of my father and brother. I will fight to free the soul stolen by Zanza. You're a fighter, Melia. We will need all your strength in the fight ahead. How Shulk? He's going to make it. His wound has closed. I think Maynith used the last of her power to protect him. So he's okay. Linada is tending to him now. Fiora? He won't wake up. It's like his consciousness has sunk to the bottom of a cold, dark lake. I keep saying his name, but he doesn't respond. Sansa's gonna pay for this. What if the Telethia attack? Then we'll have to fight without Shulk. That's why we've strengthened our defenses. That weapon I made should come in handy as well. We're backed into a corner, but we'll give it all we've got. Can your resistance truly achieve anything? What do you mean by that, Alvis? Exactly what I said. We were all born of the Bionis, of Zanza. It is Zanza's will that the Telethia return us to the body from whence we came. Whether we die of old age or in battle, we all eventually return to the Bionis. We cannot escape this fate. Am I wrong? You've got it backwards, man. Just because he thinks it doesn't make it so. We decide whether to keep living or not. I agree. Even though he's our creator, that doesn't afford him the right to take our lives on a whim. But that is the thinking of a Hans. He is a god. Such morals cannot apply to gods. So you think we should just shut up and die? If that is the fate decided by a god. You are mistaken if you think we will simply accept such a fate and wait to die. We'll never stop fighting, not till the end. To Zanza, the outcome is the same. Thus, your logic is flawed. It ain't the outcome that's important. It's the will to fight back. Even if you die in vain. Alvis! Whose side are you on? You scared or something? Frightened of a few Telethia? Stop this. There's no point fighting amongst ourselves. <sighs> Fiora. <sighs> Sorry. I need to go and get some air. Hmm. <sighs> Hello. Oh, so there you guys have been. I was wondering where I'd find you. Yes? Well, it seems that we uh, have ourselves a little bit of a... <laughs> okay. Alright, what are you asking for? The key. Okay. Oh, he's from Colony 9. Alright. Well, that's cool and all, but we gotta go get Fiora, because... She's definitely taking this the hardest out of everybody. So, let's go ahead and, uh, get to her. I mean, there's not much we could really do in the big scheme of things. It's just, you know, a god is a god, and uh, Homs slash humans are just humans. I mean, we can fight! 
we'll probably lose and we'll st he'll still get the same result as what he wants, but, you know, it's better, it is better to die trying than never to have tried at all. Especially if it's for our future, and not somebody's selfish desires for their own. Let's see if we can't talk to Fiora. Fiora, are you alright? Guess I wasn't hiding it well. I... didn't want to worry anyone. It must be difficult living with that body. I'm getting more and more used to it. But people still look at me funny. Oh, it's not that bad. It... feels pretty comfortable, actually. I don't need to worry about food or anything like that. I see. This body... The energy from the chest component made it work. It turned out to be a monado. <laughs> Such a strange feeling. A monado? Was that the monado that Zanza took from Maynith? Will your body cease to function? I'll be fine for now. There's still some stored energy left. But then what? Melia, if I ever... Please take care of Shulk. Don't talk like that! How can you ask me such a thing? I... I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. You're right. Thank you, Melia. If Shulk awakes, will you tell him? No. He worries too much anyway. <laughs> he does worry. It's just like him. Actually, I'm already dead. I have been since the Mechon attacked. Fiora. But I'm happy now. This body has given me the chance to live. Maybe I don't have much time left. But at least I can be with Shulk for a little while longer. Do you feel that strongly for him? Yes. That's why I'll fight on and help him in any way I can. Let's get back. Everyone will start worrying. Yes. You are right. And Melia. Can you keep it secret from the others? You do not want them to worry. I admire your strength. Maybe I'll tell him. But only when the time is right. I won't say a word. I'm nothing compared to her. Oh, great. Always having interruptions when we least expect them, or want them. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to be fine with what we got going on. Well, let's just hurry back and hope that we can make it there in time. That siren? Is that... Telethia! A horde of them are approaching! Let's move! Gotcha! I'm going too! But Shulk needs you! I know, but I can't just stay here. What if something happened to you? What would I tell Shulk when he wakes up? Fiora, are you sure?
Look, it's him! So he survived. Dixon! That's right. Glad to see me. Shut up! <laughs> Looks like that high end tier's big bro died for nothing. <laughs> oh, don't be like that. You'll meet him soon enough. You might even be reborn if you return to Lord Zanza. Who knows? He might be your boyfriend in the next life. You will not mock the memory of my brother. You lot don't know when you're beaten. Why don't you just give up? It's my decision. In order to perpetuate their existence, Zanza and Mayneth must use a being they created as a physical host. They cannot exist forever as mere souls. This world was created so that they may continue to exist. It is for this reason that its existence and future is in their hands. This is the passage of fate, and your visions. People live and die at the mercy of Zanza. And through this, Zanza maintains the existence of this world. Our destruction was always inevitable. Everything we did was meaningless. Are you certain? It was his will to revive you and use you as a host. Taking the Monado from Mayneth, doing with the world as he wishes. Everything was as he decided. But why is it that Zanza now wishes to destroy you? What is the need for this? That's because... He in fact has no choice but to do it. If he does not, he risks his entire existence. And we're the source of that risk. But why? It is a marvel to exist outside the passage of fate. The lives created by Zanza and Mayneth inevitably attempt to escape the passage of fate. This signifies the beginning of their destruction. Mayneth accepted this and entrusted the future of this world to you. Many times, your visions have allowed you to change the passage of fate. You saved the lives of those destined to die. I couldn't save everyone. Nothing that exists is perfect. It is a sad truth, but you can learn from it and begin the journey on a new path. Not Zanza's path, but one that you forge yourselves. Our own path. So, decide, Shulk. Will you walk the path laid out by Zanza, or will you walk a new path? The Monado awaits you. That was always how it was going to be. If I'd wanted to walk the predetermined path, I wouldn't have come this far. Even with the odds stacked against us, even though I can't see the future, I'll keep walking. My own path, that I decide. Fiora, Rhein, Dunban, Sharla, Melia, Ricky. We all feel the same. Well then, you must defy fate to succeed. Succeed and follow a new path. Alvis, are you? You already know. You know what I am and what you must do.
These things don't give up. Ricky never lose. Ricky protect Colony 6. Right. We can't let them get any further. You know the drill. Take them down. Oh, yeah. All right, let's wipe him out. Let's force their hand. Get out of the way. One down, two more to go. One down. One more to go. <laughs> this one will be a shock. Kid. More space between Zanza and us, the better. If Ryan's got time to sound off, we must be doing okay. We are doing okay. Ryan is correct. Perhaps we relied too much on the Monado and Shulk. Right. We've chosen to fight the Bionis. We have to manage on our own. <laughs> Look at them struggle. <laughs> if they can't even handle a few telephia, how do they expect to defeat me? <sighs> this is not the end! Are you okay? I just overdid it. Fiora. I'm okay. I can still fight. Why are you bothering to try and cover it up? Go on, just admit you've had enough. Never! Look out! Bloods of dino beasts! Yeah. It truly seems as though everything is going. As Sansa planned. But our hearts and minds, they still hold the will to seize our own destiny. No matter how hard you try to break us, the future is ours to shape, Dixon. Always! When will you learn you have no future? Face it! Your destiny is to die here! That was awesome! 
sorry for worrying you all. Shulk. Welcome back. Fiora. Little brat. What's he gone and done now? Time for me to get my hands dirty. Shulk, look out! Huh? <sighs> Oi, kid. It's about time for your final lesson. Dixon! Show me what you've got. You think you've got the power to oppose Lord Zadza? Let's see how you do against me. All right, then. Allow me to demonstrate just what power we got co cooking here. Dumbman, you get in, too. Soul read, huh? Once I hit one. You know, it's really bad that I get a soul read. As I need to charge up my stuff. Fine, we'll wait. We'll be patient. Like I said, once once we get in there, we'll get in there. Oh. Fine. If you're gonna be that way, I'll purge you from our sight. Alright, guys. Go in. Let's go. Dumb bad. Finish it. That brat. How could he read my movements? What the hell's going on? Shulk, how'd you do it? I could see it. The future. I don't have the Monado, but it came to me, Ryan. From within. Nice one. Looks like we're back in business. <laughs> Bunch of ingrates. Oi! Stop hiding and get yourself out here. I don't appreciate being left to do all the hard work. Alvis! What? It can't be. Alvis! Not you too! Yeah. Another one of Lord Zanza's faithful. One of the Trinity. No! How can he be one of them? Alvis! Is this the only reason you served under my family? You traitor! Oi! Say something! Shulk! Leave it. It doesn't matter what he is. That doesn't change anything at all. Does it? Alvis? Yes. Precisely. You must find your own path to the future. The Telethia! He's... So you're just another one of Sansa's lapdogs! Get ready, everyone. Show them no mercy. As you wish. Let us see that will to survive. Alright, so this is your personal one, Elvis. I'm sorry if I break your toy. But I also don't care either. Let's go ahead and rough him up. Yeah. 
It's almost time. Alright, boys, let's get them. Give him one of these. A Monado Buster. That all you got? Not so tough without your pet, are you? <laughs> I'll show you the will to survive. <laughs> Meddling kids. I have seen your will to fight. It is time to decide. What do you say? Does this world belong to you, or to Zanza? Well... <laughs> Either way's good with me. But I wonder what Zanza would say about it. He desires the same. And he sees everything. As you see, Shulk. It's like he says. Get back here! You understand, don't you, Shulk? Yeah, you can bet on it. We'll be waiting. We'll be on our best behavior. And we will be the best guests you ever had. Ah, that's quite a good comeback. I'm impressed. I'm trembling. Me. Stupid meddling kid. <laughs> After all these years, I never thought the day would come when I would feel fear. Dunban, have you seen Fiora? I have. She said she was going out to get some air. I don't think she went far. Thanks. I'll take a look. <sighs> Fiora, here you are. Oh, Shulk. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. It's so peaceful. It's hard to believe that we defeated a horde of Telethia just minutes ago. Sansa wants to finish us all. So we can make the vision he's had come true. We're in the calm before the storm. They'll be back, won't they? The Telethia. To remove us all from this world. I won't let that happen. Whatever the future holds, we can never give in. Not to Zanza. No, not even to our destiny. I wonder why Alvis said what he did. Which part? Does this world belong to us or to Zanza? Why would he side with Zanza? Power? Or maybe he wants to live forever? Who knows? But I don't think his motives are that simple. I'm sure Alvis has some kind of plan. Otherwise, why would he speak to me in my dreams? He spoke to you in your dreams? That's another reason why I have to find Zanza. I have to find out why. You and me both. I must fulfill Maynath's wish. Shulk? You wanted to speak to me about something. Oh, that's right. Lenarda's looking for you. She wants to examine you. She's back at Junks. Oh. Hey, um, can you go ahead? 
I'll go and see Leonardo in a minute. I need a few minutes to myself. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Oh, thank you. What can I do? If I go to see Leonardo, she'll find out what's happening to my body. I need to come up with a good excuse. Oh, please, let me be with Shulk just a little bit longer. Zanza is inside the Bionis. I just know it. Dixon must be there as well. Yes, and Alvis too. Well, that's all good, but how do we get to them? If they're inside the Bionis, we're gonna need to dig a pretty big hole. How long it take? Ricky get old soon. It just so happens I have the answer. On the Bionis chest is a massive hole that leads inside. It's the wound made by Agil's final attack. Then that means... Yes. While the Allied force keeps the Telethia busy, you can sneak inside that wound and take out Zanza. We will take junks. Let my father know when you are ready to depart. Yeah! Time to knock some heads! Ricky never lose! For Ricky family, Ricky win! We must show this god our unyielding will to survive. The suffering of my people will not be in vain. The crimes against our friends will not go unpunished. Shulk! Ready. We go to the Bionis chest. We will free our world from Zanza's curse. <laughs>